Hello, sixth graders. This is Mrs. Mondra, and I teach band at Sock Middle School. And this video is going to be about playing three different notes on the flute. All right, we're going to go over how to play D, E flat, and F. So first of all, I actually just want to start with just your head joint to make sure we're getting a nice sound there. So if you remember in our last video, we had covered up this side of the head joint. Our left hand went there to hold it. And I want to find that sweet spot on my flute. So remember, I want that whole to, tone hold to be parallel with the ground, like that, right? I'm going to bring that up to my bottom lip. It goes a little bit up on that bottom lip. I'm going to say like poo. And I bet you could even try saying two. Okay. If that's not working for you, try that kiss and roll method where we have the tone hole like that. Put it on your lips. Roll out. So let's make sure we get a nice long sound. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, and breathe. Okay, so if we're getting a nice sound there, then we're ready to move on for our notes. So I'm going to assemble my old flute. Let's double check our hand position. In my left hand, I have my thumb and this little lever key. Then, remember, it's like New York, New York, York, or no, yes, no, yes, yes. So no, yes, no, yes, yes. Pinky hovering or just gently resting on that apostrophe key. In my right hand, I have my pinky on the lowercase d. Then I go backwards for six, five, and four. My right thumb is underneath that first and second finger. It's not creeping forward. Just underneath those fingers, make a nice backwards C. Okay, first note we want to try today is D as in dog. I call my fingers by number. So I call them like thumb, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then right pinky. So I think that will help us if we have that common language. So for D, we're going to press down thumb, then two and three in our left hand. Notice number one is not pressing, the pinky's not pressing, but they're hovering above their homes. In my right hand, I'm gonna press down four, five, and six. Pinky is just hovering. This is how we play D. So thumb, two, three, four, five, six. Double check. I'm gonna lift my fingers up just so you can see them right now. Those are the ones that are up, but again, I want them to hover in their home, so I'm gonna put them back. We talked about bringing the flute to us, so we're going to bring the flute to you. Put that head joint in the sweet spot. I'm going to play it, and I'll count to four, and we're going to try it together. Here I go. Tap, tap, ready. <gasps> okay, so that's your D note. I would pause it now and try to play your D note all by yourself a few times. You could even try different tonguing patterns like. All right, so pause if you need to, to, if you want to try that, which I would try. Next up, we're going to talk about E flat. If we had our fingers in the same position as D, what we're going to do is actually just add our right pinky. So the fingers I'm pressing down are thumb, two, three, four, five, six, and right pinky. All right, I'm gonna bring that flute to me, find that sweet spot. Then I'll play for four counts. I'll count to four and you can join me on the next note. Here I go. One, two, together. Now, if on this note you're getting this sound, that probably means you're rolled in too much or your air isn't in the right spot. Okay, so remember we want air to be straight but a little bit down. All right, so that's E flat. I would pause it here and practice E flat on my own for a little bit. Okay, before we do F, let's do the D E flat challenge, which is actually pretty simple because we only have to move one finger. So we're gonna get our D ready, thumb two, three, four, five, six, then we're gonna add E flat. And we're going to try to go back and forth on quarter notes, D to E flat. For example, it sounds like this. I'll start on D. So if you watch my fingers from the back, I'm just adding that right pinky, right? Alrighty. 
if you know the theme song Jaws, if you do that slow to fast, it's Jaws. So you could impress your family, maybe. Now F. We're going to press down these buttons. Thumb. One, two, and three. But not, but not my left pinky. So my all of my left hand is pressed except for that left pinky. And my right hand, I'm going to press finger four and my right pinky. The other ones are going to hover. So again, thumb, one, two, three, four, and pinky. This note, I really want you to think about sending a lot of intense air across that tone hole. Here we go. If you are getting, let's try it together. One, two, ready. All righty. If, okay, sorry, I had someone come into my room while I was recording. So anyhow, we're practicing F, right? So let's try it one more time together. One, two, ready, strong, air. If you get this lower sound, that just means that your air's direction is like this. And we got to move it up to be right here. So think about that on this time when we try it again. Ready, together. Another way you can practice if that's not popping out very high is to do D, then E flat, then F in a row. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm starting on D. And just make sure your air is really intense the whole time. Okay, so those are some common problems with those notes, but you can practice each of them on their own and then practice doing different patterns, right? The E flat to F is a little tricky, so I would practice also just going E flat to F because you're switching a lot of fingers. First, I would do it with my fingers. So I have thumb two, three, four, five, six, right pinky for E flat. Then to F, I have to go all my left hand plus four and one. Then I go back to E flat and four and one. When I'm getting pretty good at that, then I'm going to do it on my flute. See how fast you can do it. I can probably do a little bit faster than you because I've been playing a little longer, but we just have to get those fingers and our brain working together. So that is how we do D, E flat, and F on the flute. Good luck. Sorry, I forgot one thing. We are gonna try a whole note on each note before we go with a measure of rest in between. So D for four counts, then four rests, then E flat for four counts, then four rests, then F for four counts. Let's just do our fingerings first. Here we go. D, two, three, four, then rest. Switch to E flat, here we go. E flat, two, three, four, rest, two, switch to F, and F, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're gonna try it together. Let's get set up with D, thumb, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, ready, and. the pinky for E flat. Switch to F. Ready and. All right. So again, that might be a little tricky, but we will get better at the things we practice. So just be patient and make sure you keep practicing. Thank you very much. Have a great day.